So today we're going to talk about the DC6100 series. This is the S series, battery operated so you don't need to plug it in or any grid or anything like that. This is the DC4S so it can control up to four valves with a master valve as well. So let's get into it. So this is the unit itself, um, bases for the unit. The first base is the solenoid mount base, so you can just slide the unit right down on top of a solenoid that you've already installed in your piping and everything, and it will be sitting there ready to program. The other option, you can snap this out, gently press in on the, on the sides, and pull that down. You can see the little lip there that clips in. Set this to the side. This is your little solenoid unit. This unit actually mounts to the wall, so you can see the screw holes and the ability to go in there. So you can just clip that right to the back of the unit. All right. Wiring the unit up is pretty straightforward. Uh, each set of wires, red and black, is marked. This is valve number four. This is valve number two. Valve number one. This one is valve number three. And then this one is the master valve. So you actually can control five valves, your main valve to turn on and then irrigate on valve one, two, three, or four. The yellow loop is your rain sensor loop. So you can set this to where it will shut off for an allotted amount of time. You can program that right inside the unit. All right, so let's install the battery. We now have the battery control unit. Remember, the door closes horizontal with the valve. We pull out the little wiring, take our nine volt battery, plug it in, drop the battery right back in, and we want to be horizontal when we finish. So get it lined up with the connection. There we go. Eighth of a turn is all you need on this. All right, so let's set our DC4S. When we, once we open it, we see that the time is flashing and we have four buttons. We have the enter button, the right button, the minus button, and the plus button. We want to go right into the settings and then we're going to plus until we set it to 8 a.m. Then we can go right again. We don't need any minutes. We can see the little arrow flashing. Let's hit the plus button to set it to Tuesday. That's good. Next, we're going to set the valves. We're going to set three different valves, three different ways. I hope this is not confusing, but I want to show you the capabilities of the unit. So valve number one is going to be misting and propagation. We don't need hours. We don't need minutes. So let's zero those out. We need to jump over here to seconds. So we have the timer set for 10 seconds, which is the minimum setting because of the capacitor and the capabilities. Now we don't want to set it on a daytime or we don't want to set it for days of the week. We want to set it for cyclical. So we're going to keep pressing the right button until we get to once. We don't want to do it once. We want to do, we want to set this unit to run every five minutes. So now the unit will run every five minutes for 10 seconds. That's good to go. Let's hit enter. Now what start time do we want to allow for this? We're going to go ahead and enter, or I'm sorry, right arrow to 8 a.m. Right arrow, eight. it says 8.11. Let's back it up. Now it will start every day at 8.10 a.m. All right, and we don't have a rain sensor. Now, when will the window open? So the window opens and closes the window of irrigation possibility. 
And we do want to set that here. And so we're going to go right arrow into that. And we're going to go plus. So we want the capability of irrigating between 8 a.m. And then we're just going to press enter. And we want it to close at 5 p.m. Because what we're doing, the example, is that we are propagating small plants and keeping the humidity high by misting into the canopy. So 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., the heat of the day, is when we want, when we want to be able to mist. So we're going to hit enter. So now we have valve one set for 10 seconds, runs every five minutes on a cycle, starting at 8.10, no rain sensor attached or used in this situation. And so we open the window at 8 a.m. It can start irrigating at 8 a.m. It will stop irrigating at 5 p.m. And we do not have a manual button used. Back to the time. Now, we're going to set valve number two. So what we need to do, we see the valve number one, we're gonna go right arrow, hit plus. Now we're on valve number two, enter. Now valve number two, we are going to set for 20 minutes worth of runtime. So no hours and pluses until we hit 20 minutes. We don't need any seconds. So there we go. Now we're gonna do this cyclically. So every other day, instead of on the minutes or the days of the week. So we know we're cyclical and we're gonna hit plus and we're just gonna hold the plus down until it runs. And that's how many minutes we have. And then now we are hours. Whoop, I buzzed past it. Now we're going to run for two days. So start one, is it 814? We want to run it every other day, but we want to run it starting at 830. We have no rain sensor, we enter, we have no manual. So valve number two is set for a duration of 20 minutes every two days and it starts at 8.30 a.m. No rain sensor, no manual button. All right, now, just for the capability, let's set valve three, and we're gonna set it for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we're gonna run it twice a day for 30 minutes, okay? So, we pressed enter, we see valve two, we want to go to valve three, enter, Valve three, the duration is gonna be 30 minutes. So we want to right arrow, no hours, right arrow, minutes, and we're just holding the button down until it runs up to 30 minutes. Okay, then we're good. And we're gonna just hit the enter button. We do want days this time. So we're gonna set it on Monday plus, and then not Tuesday, but Wednesday. So we right arrow over plus, Friday with the right arrow and then hit the plus one more time to leave a cursor. It saves those three days. Start time one, we do want to run it and we want to run start time one all three of those days that you see there and we're going to start it at, whoop, let's start it at 8.30, so 8 and then add the pluses so we get to 30. All right, so there's that. And then we'll start time two, we're actually gonna use as well. So we wanna irrigate 30 minutes twice a day. Oop, going the wrong way. 30 minutes twice a day at 5 p.m. Then we're gonna press enter, enter, enter. So no sensor, no rain manual button. Okay, so there's the time. We're working with valve number three of a 30 minute duration. It's gonna run Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. 
and it will start irrigating the first time at 8.30 a.m. The second time, the second start time is 5 p.m. We have no third start time. We have no fourth start time. No rain sensor and no manual button. And now the DC4S is set. We're ready for installation. Thanks for watching.